Tonight we're in the Louisiana marsh catching blue crab. We're going to show you how to catch them, cook them Louisiana style. We aren't steaming these crabs. We're doing a good old-fashioned Louisiana crab boil. We love you, Marilyn. We'll see you in the comments. We'll be using a method we learned from a lifelong crabber. That is a speckled trout. See your face? First, we gotta catch them. I'm a crawfish farmer, not a crabber. So this is new territory for Craw Kid and I. I'll tell you everything I learned as best I can. Uh, Crabbing is an honest and rewarding career that many Cajuns down in South Louisiana enjoy. You wake up early, set out on your boat to the beautiful Louisiana marshland. You take just what you need, but not too much. That's it, that's what I do about a thousand times and you make a living providing a delicious and nutritious food to hungry customers. But like the crawfish industry, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. This is one of our crabbers taking us out this morning. He faces many problems each year. For one, crabbing is dependent on weather patterns and tide strength. Bad weather and bad tide means you don't get paid. In this industry, you might sink the boat one day and be bone dry the next. It's even more unpredictable than the crawfish industry. Another issue they face is competitors and other heathens damaging or stealing their traps. Because they're crabbing on public land, there's a lot of competition. Best case scenario, as far as thieving goes, they'll just take the crabs out of the trap. Worst case scenario, their cages will be cut, stolen, or rolled, and gone forever. It's happened to 50 of this fisherman's cages in the last year and half since he started. Bailey, this fisherman, was a bit worried about these fellas lingering around his traps. Hey, stop stealing our traps! But they just turned out to be regular old fishermen. Today, we pulled up some interesting critters out of these traps. That's a rock crab. Somebody already took the claw off this one. This is a Gulf Stone Crab. Their meat is highly coveted for its sweet tasting claws. Some people even describe it as a bacon taste. Crabbers aren't allowed to keep these guys, but they can take a claw home with them for friends and family. As you can see, someone already got this crab before us. Back in the water he goes. We pulled out a massive speckled trout. It's pretty rare to see males this size. These creatures are absolutely delicious. Their sharp canines are used for catching and killing prey. Don't stick your hand in there. Crabbers can't keep these either, so we threw him back. We caught two virgin crabs, or buster crabs, as known in the industry. See the difference between their stomachs? Yes. Yeah, so this one's already had babies, and this one hasn't. Uh -huh. We found a few dead oysters too. Looks like the crabs had their way with them. Bailey likes to set his traps over oyster beds when possible. The ground is soft around the marsh. If you find a hard patch, there's a good chance it's an oyster bed. Crabbers in Louisiana haul in nearly 45.7 million pounds of crabs each year, which are worth about 32 million when sold directly at the docks. Taking a wider view, the crab industry pumps $293 million into the economy. It not only creates about 3,830 jobs all over the state, but also adds almost 21 million to the state and local government's budgets through the various revenues. Thank a crabber next time you see one. It was a little too shallow to venture out into the deep marsh today, so Bailey took us as far as we could go to show Crawl Kid how to set a new cage out. Marshes are wet areas where grasses that don't have woody stems grow. These grasses help to hold the rich, muddy soil together and slow down the flow of water. They help protect the state from hurricanes. They act like a sponge soaking up a lot of the water that comes with these storms and help to slow down erosion of the shoreline. Anyway, here's how we set those traps. These are the four steps to set up a blue crab trap. First step, put the tag on top of the cage. The tag is a crabber's license number. Step two. Get 10 foot of poly rope. Tie it to your trap and tie it to your booty. Step three, red paint your booty. We're going blue on top, green on bottom. This is how he's gonna know this is his trap. Step four, bait your trap and catch some crabs. Make sure your bait lands on the bottom. Roll. <laughs> Now we're going to take what we caught today and cook them up at home. Last thing we have to do is make sure these crabs are legal to take them home. On the side of the basket, where you can see a scale, if the crabs aren't long enough point to point, we've got to toss them back out. Steaming crabs is overrated. This is how we do a good old-fashioned Louisiana blue crab bowl. This isn't your usual bowl method. This method was recommended to us by a lifelong crabber named Ross. 
Ross deals with these every day, so let's see if he knows what he's talking about. Start your burner and crank it up real high. Add two to three pounds of the best seafood boil on the planet to your water. That's Louisiana Crawfish Company seafood boil, of course. This is just a seasoning for our veggies. Wait for your water to come to a rolling boil. Add in your potatoes first. If they're small, like these, leave them in for about 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, add your corn. And your sausage. Now, add in your corn and sausage with the potatoes and let them boil for five more minutes. After five more minutes, take them out. Take those out and admire them. Boy, they look beautiful. Walker like cone. Bring the water back to a bowl and another bag of seasoning. Toss some Louisiana shrimp in the pot. We leave them in for about 30 seconds. You'll see them start floating to the top. If you cook them more than that, you won't be able to peel them. Do you pinch this? You pull it right in. How do you peel your sauce? <laughs> <laughs> and now it's crab time. Add a pack of the best seafood ball on the planet for every dozen crabs you're gonna cook. Bring your water back to a bowl. Once it's at a rolling bowl, you wanna put your crabs in. Bring it back to a rolling bowl and leave them in for about 15 to 17 minutes. Once they boil for 15 minutes, cut your fire off, let them soak for five. After steaming them for five minutes, take them out. This is the part Rolf swears by. Once they steam for five minutes in the pot, put them in your ice chest, let them steam for five more minutes. They should come out burnt orange just like this. Boy, these look good. Time to eat. Today I deem you claw kid. This was our first time using this bowl method and boy am I glad I trusted Ross. Our entire family was blown away by the texture and flavor. We ship them live overnight to your door. Make sure you like this video and subscribe to our channel. And watch another video because that helps the algorithm.